Winston, do you, could you pass me the red? Where do you want the red? My son. Why is the sun red? I know. Okay, shall we ask Jamesy? Okay. What was it you wanted, guys? Why is the sun red? What? At sunset? Yeah. yeah. Well, let me show you. What's this? Rainbow! Rainbow. Well, light is made up of all these colours. And I have a way of showing you. Let's go outside. So guys, you know how white light is made up of loads of different colours? Rainbow! <laughs> well, this prism shows all those different colours of the white light. In order to understand why the sun appears to be red in the evening, we must understand the properties of light. Each colour of light has a different wavelength and frequency. Light waves make distinctive patterns as they travel through space. Wavelength. Each wave has a certain shape and length. The distance between peaks is called wavelength. Frequency. Frequency describes the number of waves that pass a fixed place in a given amount of time. Each light colour has a different wavelength and frequency. Yellow, orange and red have a longer wavelength and lower frequency and energy than blue or green. Light travels through space and reaches the Earth through our atmosphere. Gas molecules are smaller than the wavelength of visible light. When light bumps into them, it acts differently. After light hits a gas molecule, some of it may get absorbed. Different light colours are affected differently. The higher frequencies, blue, are absorbed more often than the lower frequencies, red. This process is called Rayleigh scattering. At sunset, light must travel farther through the atmosphere. The colour of the sun appears to change, first to orange and then to red, because more of the short wavelength blues and greens are now scattered, and only the longer wavelength reds and oranges are left to be seen.